In this video, we write a C program to find sum of two numbers using another way of writing functions that is functions with arguments and no written value. In the previous video, we have seen about functions with uh, no arguments and uh, no written value. In this example, we see the same program using the concept functions with uh, arguments and uh, no written value. Now what we do here, uh, in the main function, we call sum function and also main function will send uh, two numbers and the sum function will calculate addition of those two numbers and but it will not return those values. Now what is the responsibility of main function here? It has to call sum function and at the same time it has to send uh, two numbers. That's why in the main function we declare two numbers printf enter a and b values scanf percentage d percentage d ampersand a comma ampersand b and then we call some function this is the sum function calling but in this we need to send parameters we need to send arguments what are those arguments we need to send a value as well as b value just we need to specify a comma b that means in the main function we are calling sum function at the same time we are passing two arguments to the sum function a and b first argument is a second argument is b but uh, the sum function is not returning any value that's why just we simply written like this now we go for uh, defining the sum function we go for writing the uh, body of the sum function then what is the written type of sum function <coughs> As in the concept, it is not returning any value. If a sum, if a function is not returning any value, then automatically we need to write void as its a written type. Void and the name of the function is sum. Now see here, the sum function is taking arguments here. What is the first argument? A. A is of type integer. Then here also we need to declare two variables. Let us take, I am saying integer x comma integer y. I have taken two variables here. Now what happens here? A value comes to x and a b value comes to y. In the, in the in main function we are sending two arguments and the two arguments are of type integer. That's why in the sum function also we need to declare two variables and these two variables types also must be integer. And then we calculate, we declare a variable c, c is equal to x plus y. But some function is not returning any value. That's why we print a sum value here itself, print f, sum is equal to percentage d c. In this fashion, we write the program. Now, and one more point, we need to write here uh, the function prototype. What is the written type of sum function? void and the name of the function is sum and it is taking two arguments and the first argument type is integer let us take i am giving a variable name as x and the second argument is also type integer in this fashion we need to specify details to the compiler so we are specifying that sum is the function name its written type is void and it is taking two arguments first argument type is integer second argument type is also integer Whenever we are specifying prototype, then the number of arguments in the function prototype and the number of arguments in the function definition and also the number of arguments in the function call, they must be same. Otherwise, we get compilation error. Now, we run this program. It is asking for two values. Again, I will give 10 and 20. We get output 30. Now what is the concept here? In the main function, we have called sum function with two parameters and a value goes to x and b value goes to y. Let us say we have given a value 10 and b value 20. Now x gets value 10 and y gets value 20 
and in the c we get c is equal to x plus y we get a 30 as the sum function is not returning any value we are printing c value here itself this is the concept of function with the arguments and a no return value in this program here in the function definition in the function in the calling function we have taken two variables a and b similarly here also instead of using x and y we can also declare any variable name like we can also use the same names a and b instead of y i will use b and instead of a sorry instead of x i will use a again we run this program now i will give another values let us say 38 and 40 we get output 70 now here also what happens here now a value is passed to this particular a now these both a's are different because one is in the main function and another one is in the sum function here also b's are different one is in main function and other one is in the b function b function sorry other one is in the sum function it is like two students in two different sections are having same name so here also same concept now this is about functions with arguments and no return value